Tepentadol tablet is used to relieve moderate to severe short-term pain, such as pain from an injury or after surgery. It belongs to a class of drugs known as opioid analgesics. It works in the brain to change how your body feels and responds to pain. The daily dosage and optimal timing for taking this medication should be determined by your doctor based on your medical condition and response to treatment. Make sure to follow your doctor's instructions carefully. Before taking Tepentadol, make sure to read the medication guide provided by your pharmacist. Take this medication by mouth as directed by your doctor, with or without food. If you experience nausea, it may help to take this drug with food or find other ways to decrease nausea. The dosage is based on your medical condition and response to treatment, so do not increase your dose or use this drug more often or for longer than prescribed. Pain medications work best if they are used as the first signs of pain occur. Suddenly stopping this medication may cause withdrawal, especially if you have used it for a long time or in high doses. When using this medication for a long time, it may not work as well, so make sure to talk with your doctor if this happens. This medication may sometimes cause addiction, so take it exactly as prescribed to lower the risk of addiction. And always remember to tell your doctor if your pain does not get better or if it gets worse. Some common side effects of Tepentadol tablet include nausea, vomiting, constipation, dizziness, or drowsiness. To prevent constipation, it is important to eat dietary fiber, drink enough water, and exercise. You may also need to take a laxative, so it's best to consult your pharmacist about which type is right for you. Additionally, to reduce the risk of dizziness and lightheadedness, make sure to get up slowly when rising from a sitting or lying position. It's important to remember that this medication has been prescribed to you because your doctor has deemed that the benefits outweigh the risks of potential side effects. However, it's important to be aware of any serious side effects and to seek medical help if you experience confusion, interrupted breathing during sleep, stomach-slash-abdominal pain, difficulty urinating, signs of your adrenal glands and not working well, slow-slash-shallow breathing, fainting, seizures, severe drowsiness-slash-difficulty waking up, or symptoms of serotonin syndrome-slash-toxicity. While a serious allergic reaction to this drug is rare, it's crucial to seek medical help right away if you notice any symptoms of a serious allergic reaction, such as rash, itching-slash-swelling, severe dizziness, or trouble breathing. If you experience any other effects not listed, it's important to contact your doctor or pharmacist. And as always, if you're in the US, you can call your doctor for medical advice about side effects or report them to FDA at 1-800-FDA-1088 or at www.fda.gov slash medwatch. In Canada, you can call your doctor for medical advice about side effects or report them to Health Canada at 1-866-234-2345. Tepentadol tablets have the potential for abuse and addiction, which can lead to overdose and even death. It may also cause severe breathing problems. To lower the risk, your doctor will prescribe the smallest effective dose for the shortest possible time. It's important to ask your doctor or pharmacist if you should have naloxone available to treat opioid overdose, and it's also important to teach your family members about the signs of an opioid overdose and how to treat it. The risk for severe breathing problems is higher when you start taking this medication, after a dose increase, or if you take the wrong dose or strength. Taking Tepentadol with alcohol or other drugs that cause drowsiness or breathing problems can have serious side effects, including death. It's important to know how to take Tepentadol and what other drugs you should avoid taking with it. Get medical help right away if you experience slow or shallow breathing, unusual lightheadedness, severe drowsiness or dizziness, or difficulty waking up. Keep this medication in a safe place to prevent theft, misuse, or abuse. If someone accidentally swallows this drug, seek medical help immediately. Women of childbearing age should talk with their doctor about the risks and benefits before using this medication. It should only be used during pregnancy when clearly needed, as it may slightly increase the risk of birth defects if used during the first two months of pregnancy. Using Tepentadol for a long time or in high doses near the expected delivery date may harm the unborn baby. Babies born to mothers who use this drug for a long time may develop severe withdrawal symptoms. Tell the doctor right away if you notice any symptoms in your newborn baby such as crying that doesn't stop, slow or shallow breathing, irritability, shaking, vomiting, diarrhea, poor feeding, or difficulty gaining weight. Before taking Tepentadol, 
Make sure to inform your doctor or pharmacist of any allergies you may have, as this medication may contain inactive ingredients that could cause allergic reactions. It's important to discuss your medical history with your doctor or pharmacist, especially if you have any brain disorders, breathing problems, gallbladder disease, kidney disease, liver disease, mental-slash-mood disorders, a history of substance use disorder, stomach-slash-intestinal problems, disease of the pancreas, or difficulty urinating. This medication may cause dizziness or drowsiness, and using alcohol or marijuana can increase these effects. It's important to avoid driving, using machinery, or any activities that require alertness until you can do so safely. It's also important to avoid alcoholic beverages and to talk to your doctor if you are using marijuana. Before undergoing surgery, be sure to inform your doctor or dentist of all the products you are using, including prescription drugs, non-prescription drugs, and herbal products. Older adults may be more sensitive to the side effects of this drug, especially slow-slash-shallow breathing, confusion, constipation, dizziness, and drowsiness. If you are pregnant, this medication should only be used when clearly needed, as it may harm an unborn baby. It's important to discuss the risks and benefits with your doctor. It is unknown if this medication passes into breast milk, so consult your doctor before breastfeeding. If your baby develops unusual sleepiness, difficulty feeding, or trouble breathing, be sure to contact your doctor right away. When taking Tepentadol tablets, it's important to be aware of potential drug interactions that could affect how the medication works or increase the risk of serious side effects. Some products that may interact with Tepentadol include certain pain medications, naltrexone, and samidorphan. It's also important to avoid taking MAO inhibitors while using Tepentadol, as this could cause a serious and possibly fatal drug interaction. Additionally, there is an increased risk of serotonin syndrome when taking tepentadol with other drugs that increase serotonin, such as certain antidepressants and street drugs like MDMA. It's also important to be cautious when taking tepentadol with other products that may cause drowsiness or breathing problems, such as opioid pain relievers, alcohol, or muscle relaxants. Always consult with your doctor or pharmacist before taking any new medications in combination with tepentadol. Lastly, tepentadol may interfere with certain lab tests, so it's important to inform all healthcare providers that you are using this medication. Keep in mind that this information does not cover all possible drug interactions, so it's important to keep a list of all the products you use and share it with your healthcare providers. If someone has overdosed and has serious symptoms such as passing out or trouble breathing, give them naloxone if available, then call 911. If the person is awake and has no symptoms, call a poison control center right away. U.S. residents can call their local poison control center at 1-800-222-1222. Canada residents can call a provincial poison control center. Symptoms of overdose may include slow-slash-shallow breathing, slow heartbeat, seizures, coma. If you or someone you know has overdosed on tepentadol tablets and is experiencing serious symptoms such as passing out or difficulty breathing, it is important to seek immediate medical help. If the person is conscious and not showing any symptoms, it is still important to contact a poison control center right away. In the United States, you can call your local poison control center at 1-800-222-1222. In Canada, residents can call a provincial poison control center. Symptoms of overdose may include slow or shallow breathing, a slow heartbeat, seizures, or falling into a coma. It's important to never share your Tepentadol medication with others, as it is illegal to do so. Remember, this medication has been prescribed specifically for your current condition. Do not use it for any other condition without your doctor's guidance. If you have a different condition in the future, you may need a different medication. If you forget to take a dose of Tepentadol tablet, take it as soon as you remember. If it's almost time for your next dose, just skip the missed one and take your next dose at your regular time. Don't take a double dose to make up for the missed one. When it comes to storing Tepentadol tablet, make sure to keep it at room temperature, away from light and moisture. Avoid storing it in the bathroom and always remember to keep it out of reach of children and pets. When it comes time to get rid of any unused or expired Tepentadol tablets, do not flush them down the toilet or pour them into a drain unless instructed to do so. Instead, properly discard the product by following the instructions in the medication guide or by consulting your pharmacist or local waste disposal company.
If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.